Hi, Chris. How, how's it going today? Uh, pretty good. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. So you need, uh, you need some help in algebra? Was there a uh, particular problem set you need help with, or just want me to go through the basics? Uh, yeah, I have a, um, I have some uh, algebra problems that I've been working on. Um, I showed them to my instructor, and and they said that uh, it was wrong. So um, I was just kind of hoping that I could get some help and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Basically, what you can do is if you have a problem set or anything that you've been working on, um, you can use the assets tab over here right beneath the video um, to go ahead and upload any documents, PDF, Word documents. Uh, um, just send them to there. It also gives you the opportunity to load that document onto the whiteboard if you like so that we can write on it and both look at it real time. Uh, if you don't have the document, uh, you can always use something like the equation editor or the pencil to upload it, or we can just talk through some of the problems. Oh, great. Okay, so it looks like you have, um, have an electronic version of it. Okay, great. Um, and also, if you have any work that you've been doing on these problems, you can upload those as well. Um, if you look down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you can switch between pages. So if you want to upload any work that you've done onto page two, um, that would be good as well. That way I can see where exactly you're having problems with. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, I see um I see your work here now on page two. Um let me take a quick look at it. If you want to, we can actually walk through your thought process. Um if you just want to look over at page two and we can work through um each of these problems. Looks like there's three of them. Then um yeah, I can help you up from there. So the first problem, do you just want to explain to me your overall thinking of um, how you went about trying to solve the problem? Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I multiplied um, both sides, um, and I, uh, I multiplied it by by two, um, and then I think that you know that got rid of that uh, that little bar that's over the two x minus three. And then I also multiplied the nine by two as well. Um, okay. And then added on both sides, and then that's what gave me the x equals ten and a half. Gotcha. Okay, so <clears throat> um, one of the things that I think you may be forgetting is um, how exactly to get rid of the. Um, the radical at the beginning, so the, um, the little bar above the 2x minus 3. Um, what that's telling you is to uh, take the square root of either a number or an equation. Uh -huh. And in order to get rid of that, um, you don't multiply by 2, you're going to have to square both sides. So here I can write on the picture here and show you. So in order to get rid of the square root, you're going to take the 2x minus 3, um, square that, that's what the little two means is you're squaring an equation. Then you're also going to be squaring the nine on this other side. Um, so basically that means that you're going to be left with square root of two X minus three times the square root of two X minus three, um, which again, when you're multiplying um, two radicals, two identical radicals, you're just going to get the content underneath the radical. So that'll give you two X minus three. Um, and then what would you guess would be on the other side if you're squaring a 9? Uh, so that would be 81? Correct. Yeah, so um, basically you're getting there 2x minus 3 equals um, 81. And then um, you would just go on um, continuing to solve the rest of the equation like you did. So what would you say would be the step then from here to solve for x? Um, you can uh, you can use the pencil if you want to write on the picture directly as well. I'm using red, so if you want to use a different color, like um, there's a nice uh, light blue color or maybe a green, you could use. 
I'll use the green. Okay. Um, so, plus three, uh, for both oh. sides. And that's going to give, uh, 2x equals 84. And then... I'll divide both sides by two. And so then that's X equals 42. Perfect. So I guess I was way off. Hey, yeah, so, um, it's all right, though. You were. Um, it's it's funny. You can see how just uh, making one mistake ends up really affecting the end solution.